Hello guys, this is Sifar Rasik. Good afternoon from ULC. Today our discussion topic is PB breaker and the PB valve. So we will discuss the full details of PB breaker and the PB valve. So stay tuned. Guys, this PB breaker is also the requirement of Solas chapter 2.2 part C regulation 11.6.3.2. This PB breaker is the additional safety, uh, safety device for the tanker vessel. When the PV valve, your moisturizer is not working, then this PV breaker will activate automatically when the pressure exit uh, from the from its set pressure. And it will uh, remove the pressure uh, from the main IG line, and also if the vacuum creates, it will uh, suck the air, and it will suck the air and it will compensate the pressure. So, guys, this PV breaker mechanism is very simple just you see this is the outer tank and there is inner tank is inside and there is a cap is the opening is also there and there is a level gauge for liquid and there's a, a liquid is inside this tank and that liquid is the fresh water and glycol mixture and the, uh, the ratio of this mixture you can find on the operating instruction manual and guys uh, there is you see the set pressure is plus 2100 mmwg and vacuum is minus 700 mmwg when this pressure exceed or this vacuum exit then this pv breaker is working like this way such a way that you know the vomiting when the pressure exit the set pressure this line pressure exit that time it will vomit this liquid will, will vomit come out from the that top opening you can see liquid will come out and the pressure or excessive pressure will release to the atmosphere and if the vacuum is created uh, more than this set value then it will suck it will suck this line will suck the uh, suck this liquid after sucking the liquid the air will also uh, go uh, to this line to compensate the vacuum guys remember this one this is the uh, simple mechanism for this pv breaker and guys one more information i'll give you here uh, if you want to convert this to 100 mmwg you can convert it that is uh, 1000 mmwg is equal to 98.06 millibar remember 1000 mmwg is equal to 98.06 millibar so you can uh, convert this value to the uh, millibar okay guys after i will discuss some more uh, from this diagram guys guys for better understanding i want to discuss about this diagram for this is a positive pressure this is negative pressure and pressure and vacuum this is connected with IG main line and there is a liquid inside. When the pressure of the IG main line is increased, it will push the water come out from this opening. See, from this opening, it will come out. There is a flame arrestor is here and the water will come out. This is the vomiting. This is the vomiting of water. After vomiting of water, the air will go out and the, and the pressure will decrease on the main IG line. Remember guys, if the set pressure increased, then it will activate automatically. Remember guys, this one. This is the vomiting of water okay guys and this uh, in this in this diagram there's a ig main line pressure is negative uh, beyond the set below vacuum beyond the set below and after that it will suck the air from this opening it will suck the air and this water this uh, mixture of water glycol and fresh water mixture will go inside the tank inside the this ig line after water inside going inside the ig line the the air will also go inside this line so if when the air will go, it will compensate the pressure. Remember, guys, it is a sucking. Remember, it is a sucking. The in the vacuum, in the vacuum, it will suck the air, and in the in the pressure, in the in the positive pressure, in the more pressurization time, it will vomiting, vomiting the water. Remember, guys, this one. And for your better understanding, this diagram you can see for uh, your better understanding the name of this. I already discussed before this is the outer tank this is the inner tank see this is the flame arrestor this is the cap is here this is the valve bend, this is also the bend valve and also this is the in the level gauge is the water water and glycol mixture is here and this is connected with the main IG line guys so that this is very very simple equipment you just have a look and just study a little bit is very very helpful and this is very important for your exam also so guys thank you too much Guys, uh, this, this is the PV valve and this is the requirement of Solas chapter 2.2 .2, part C, regulation 11.6.3.2.
A secondary means of full free venting system for all tanks should be provided. That is combination of the PV breaker, masterizer, PV valves. So guys, remember if your vessel have the masterizer, see? This is the masterizer. If vessel have the masterizer, then masterizer is the primary means of venting system. And PV is the secondary means of venting system. Some tanker, small tanker don't have the masterizer. So the PV is the primary means of venting for that vessel. And the pressure system is the secondary means of venting system. So guys, PV valve is a, this mechanism also very simple. This PV is also the safety device for individual tank to protect the cargo from excessive pressure or excessive vacuum. This is safeguard from the individual tanks to be over pressurization and to protect that from under pressurization. There is a set pressure is here, you see, my, this vessel PV is, pressure is plus 1750 mmWg. Vacuum is minus 350 mmwg. So guys, see guys, this one, see the coconut shape, that is the pressure side, remember guys. If the pressure exceeds from this bellow, it will lift up. This coconut shape will lift up and release the excessive pressure. And this is the vacuum side guys, this is the vacuum side. There is a mechanism inside, so if this vacuum uh, from this set well of vacuum exit and this will suck the air this will suck the air so tank will protect it from the over pressurization and under pressurization guys remember that uh, pressure disc coconut shape that is uh, just placed on the seat ring and there is a lifting me lifting mechanism is here and remember from this vacuum side also on the pressure side there's a flame arrester is there so that it cannot allow to go inside the tank any flame or uh, go outside any flame remember guys the flame arrester is also there and remember guys when we are uh, loading cargo during loading cargo the um, the volume of the cargo inside the tank increase so the pressure increase so that time this PV uh, will lift up and, and and just release the excessive pressure and during the decrease during the discharging time the inside the cargo tank there's a vacuum is created so from this vacuum side it will suck the air and it will compensate the pressure inside the tank and also one more thing remember guys during the temperature difference during the temperature difference if the cargo expand if the inside the cargo tank cargo expand so the pressure increase volume increase means pressure increase so it will uh, release the pressure and if the cargo if the cargo compress due to the less temperature and uh, it will pressure decrease that time it will uh, suck the pressure and it will compensate the pressure inside the cargo tanks remember guys this is the this is the very simple mechanism for the PV valve and this is for the only for the individual tank remember guys individual tank individual PV valve and the PV breaker is for the uh, for all the main main, main IG line, PV breaker is the main IG line, and must try that is also for the main IG line. Remember, guys. Remember, guys. If you want to convert this valve to the MMWG to the milliver, you can because of in our CCR for the pressure set, we uh, we set the pressure on the milliver. That is 1000 MMWG is equal to 98.06 milliver. Remember, guys. This one is very important things. So guys, I already discussed the PV valve. Now just a little bit discussed from this uh, from this uh, diagram. See so guys, during the uh, if the set pressure increased, it will just re just release the pressure. This is for individual tank. PV valve is for the individual tank. It will release the pressure to after set pressure in and uh, exit. And during the uh, negative pressurization, it will suck the air. See, suck the air. This is the vacuum side. This is the pressure side. It will suck the air inside the tank and it will compensate the pressure see this is a pressure disc is here this is like similar like coconut shape sit on the seat ring sit on the seat ring flame arrester is inside of the flame arrester there is a lifting gear mechanism which is here and also here the flame arrester is also here and this is spindle spindle screw adjusting spindle adjusting screw screw remember guys spindle adjusting screw this one and when it will uh, release the air or sucking the air they have due, due to the flame arrester if there is any spark or flame 
it will not go out also it will not come inside the tank remember guys it will not go out it will not come inside the tank this is, remember guys this is very very simple equipment this is very very uh, important for your exam also or for your practical life also guys so thank you guys